Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Tarot Boudoir. So, this is going to be a reading for Pisces. I've not been doing hardly any uploads because I've not had the time, but I thought it's New Year, so I'll do a few specials, see how it goes, and just see if I can get back into the swing of things, really. Um, so this is going to be for January 2023. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try and make it fit. Remember, timing is fluid, so there may be some issues still here from the past that need dealing with because they're, you know, currently affecting your present. So again, only take what makes sense. Don't try and make the full reading fit because you're not going to get the full enjoyment of the reading by being that way. I do have a whole new set of cards, different multiple decks that I got for Christmas that I'm trying out. There's some that um not quite blended with yet, but we'll get there. So Pisces. What is going on with Pisces? January 2023. Just moving stuff. Okay, right, let's see what's going on for Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. January 2023. Okay. So what does Spirit want you to know? And advice about the situation, right? Okay. Typical Pisces reading. We've got your energy all over this, just in the first two cards. Okay, what is the outcome of this situation? For Pisces. Now, please bear with me again. These are new cards, so they're taking their time to sort of gel with me right now. What is the outcome of this situation? Right. This is not going to get no jumpers, so we're going to split. And we'll go from there. Okay, Pisces. Bottom of the deck. King of Cups. So we've just had that for Aries. So you may have Aries somewhere in your chart. Now the first one out is we've got the Five of Cups. Loss in pleasure, disappointment, sadness, Pisces. And you're sad over the things that are bullshit. Excuse my language, but you're sad over things that you shouldn't really be sad about. Because you've still got a, a lot of things to be grateful for, a lot of good things coming towards you. But you're concentrating on the things that are possibly a mistake or you've had to learn a harsh lesson from and you've taken it, you're taking it very, very personally. You really are taking things to heart here and Spirit's saying, you know, if, if you're concentrating on, on the past, on the things that didn't work, the things that are going good for you are going to sort of fade into the background a, a little bit because you're, you're not, you're not seeing them for the value, you're not seeing them for the worth. And concentrating on the harsh lessons is not learning the lesson. You've got to understand why things have happened the way they have, a relationship failure, you know, just things not working out as planned or, you know, finding out some information about yourself that you're just not happy with. And you're, you're, you're completely focused on this and it's bringing your energy down and you're your own worst critic right here. But there's so many good things that are still going on around you and, and Spirit's saying you need to concentrate on this, you need to turn around. Now, the advice about this is the Seven of Cups. Sometimes we don't make the right choices and that's part of life, that's part of growing. And you're concentrating again on the bad decisions, the bad choices you've made rather than learning from them and growing because there's a couple of choices here that you keep going back to. You know what it did to you before. You know how it felt. You know how it hurt you. But you're still going back. You're still going back and, you know, seeing if, if the bite was as bad as it was the first time. And it is. It's going to hurt just as much, if not even more, because you're so hopeful. And spirit's saying, don't be. Two, you know, a, a certain individual or, or a few have had way too many chances and they deserve and there's a lot of issues here from the past as well that are weighing heavily. And again, I think they're they're clouding your judgment on making choices 
unhealthy choices. Now, the outcome of the situation is the Six of Pentacles, and this is material success. So this is a new career, a new career path. Something's going to happen. What takes, I believe, your concentration away from the loss or the things that aren't working. You're going to actually get something in the future that you're going to feel somewhat proud of. You're going to feel accomplished. You're going to be able to help people. Or again, this could be somebody giving you a chance, giving you a new start. It's something, it's a transactional process and it's something that's helpful. It makes, it just, it's just an all round, makes you feel better, makes you feel accomplished, something that you can be proud of. Now, somebody may owe you some money or there's like a back pay or a payout of some sort as well. And again, that's showing that that's coming for you. It's going to bring you out of this vulnerable phase that you're possibly going through. Now, the overall card is oppression. So again, in in this new phase that you're about to go to, try and not take on more than you can handle, Pisces, because you are very, very caring, empathetic people. And this is sort of saying, try and not take your work home with you. Or again, you know, giving too much empathy to people that don't deserve it because they're bringing your energy down. You're giving people chance after chance after chance and they're not giving it back. They're not paying anything back. And it's draining you. So it's saying, you know, lessen the load a bit here, Pisces. You know, drop some of these wands, this ten of wands. You know, drop some of them. They're not all yours to carry. Your friends and your family are always going to be there. And even the same for them. There may be someone around you who, again, is carrying too much weight. And it sometimes takes somebody to say look you're, you've, you're carrying too much there's too much going on you need to drop a few things you need to ask for help you can't keep doing you can't keep carrying on the way you're carrying on let's get some clarifiers clarify this reading clarify the five of cups please Clarify the Five of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, look in my camera. Sorry, there's a few cards that have just gone all over the floor. One of them was the Tower, but I've put that back. <laughs> I've put it back. Clarify the Six of Coins. Clarify the Six of Coins. There it is. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Wow. Oh, we've got the asshole card. Pisces. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, this makes more sense. We've got the Two of Wands here over the Five of Cups. You can't see what's coming in your future, but spirit can. And spirit's saying it is amazing. You just need patience. You need to look up rather than down because there's nothing there for you now. You need to look up and straight ahead because there's a whole new position, a whole new world opening up to you now. And it's going to change things for the better. Now, for some of you, you'd need to be very, very careful because there is a pregnancy here with this Ace of Cups. Now, for some, it'll be a massive congratulation or reprocess because you've been waiting for this on such a long time there's been so much disappointment along the way but there is um a male a male baby on the way but if that's not something you want then just be mindful because again just as your life sort of really coming together this pregnancy comes along so just be careful of that but ace of cups is saying please don't give up on love if there's been disappointment in the past Everything that you're going through is character building and it's just wanting you to learn from the mistakes, not not stay in the mistake, learn from it. Because there is going to be some new opportunities coming your way in regards to love and it will be something quite surprising. We've got the three of pentacles over the six. So this is definitely a career path, a career change. This is working with somebody or for somebody. And again, it's in quite a... A caring manner so for some this is going to make sense 
it could be nursing, doctor, paediatrics, children, um, or even caring for the elderly, like a family member um, or a friend. It's just, it's working with somebody, but there is a transactional process going on. Um, and it's going to be a fair transaction, fair to everybody. But because you're quite an empathetic, caring person, I can sort of see you having the attitude of, you know, I'd do this for free because, you know, these people need help. And it, it's something that you're really going to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really going to help you grow in this, this new role. It's going to help mature you. It's going to help you make better decisions. It's just an all-round new adventure for a Pisces. This is a new adventure. This is something exciting, something to keep you busy. Now, we've got some opposition going on here. We've got the King of Swords reversed, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, this is somebody who you're dealing with or someone very close to you is dealing with. Very, very manipulative, very nasty, likes to say nasty things to sort of get a rise out of somebody. Um, does suffer with some sort of, I don't know, sociopathism or psychosis or something. Not a very nice individual. And this individual has been trying to bring you down for a very, very long time or trying to bring the network down that you're within. This is a really vile person. And they've said some really vile things about you in the past as well. And they're very manipulative. They're very cold. They never cared. This is somebody who's very fake. They, they talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. And that's because they're so fake, they wouldn't know how to do it, even if they tried. Like, this is somebody's bullshit that everyone has seen through for a long time. And I feel like they just put up with it for the sake of it. But they really are piling the pressure on you or somebody close to you. And again, I think this is where you come in the mix of you're a strength in this. You're the strength. You're the the knot that ties the rope of, of the situation. You're the one that holds it together. Hmm. So, yeah, just keep an eye on that because it's not a very nice individual at all. Can I have some more cards on this reading, please, for Pisces? More cards on this reading for Pisces. So we've got the Princess of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like there is possibly a bit of a battle going on between a male and a female. One is, yeah, definitely, there's a love, there's a bit of a, a battle going on within a love dynamic or a relationship. One's hot-headed, hot, hot, uh, hot -headed, fiery, fast, um, quite untamable. And then we've got this Queen of Swords who is, can come across as quite cold, emotionless, very cutting with her words. But she wasn't always that way. The Queen of Swords was once empathetic, loving, loyal. But she was abused beyond repair, which made her this way. And we've got this battle going on of one... Uh, it feels like the male trying to break down the female. And they can't stand how they have this wall up. But she will not drop it for nobody, not even for love. It's not going to happen. There is a love connection that's going to happen, but it's definitely not with this individual who's coming in thick and fast and making all the promises. You're not that dumb or someone's not that dumb to fall for it. They've seen this before and it's it's not going to happen again. So just, just be careful of that. Could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Right, so I'm just getting some more cards. Is going on for Pisces. Ooh. So we have got interested, conversing, awaiting a message, awaiting communication with somebody. 
Somebody is hoovering you up a little bit as well, though, Pisces. Just be careful of that. They're sort of bringing you in, getting what they need, and then sort of dropping you again. There is an insane chemistry, and you do like each other, but the other one is seeing it more as fun, unfortunately. And we've got the Grim Reaper who's saying this is over before it begun, really. There's 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 no second chances. So I think that means there's there's not going to be what you think there's going to be. And you need to grow and transform from this. So that's what this situation ship is. It's something to teach you a lesson, something for you to mature from. Um, I'll just get an angel card. And we have got Ray. So yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being. Um, I mean we don't always <laughs> like that, but but it's a, on about your spiritual growth right now. And this is saying that you've been receiving some strong guidance um to entertain forms of exercise. And this card serves as like extra validation that you've been wanting to change how you look, your appearance. And physical movement is essential for you to get to the, the desires that you're wanting. It's going to give you the energy, the vitality, and it's going to help you complete projects that you're wanting to start in the new year. It opens you up to new ideas. Although you may feel intimidated by yoga or exercise, it will help you in a smooth way. It will help you tailor an exercise a program that will fit your schedule, your interests, your fitness level. And you're going to receive this guidance in the form of repetitive thoughts and feelings. And also through information about yoga or exercise that comes to you like out of the blue. And yes, you are a busy person, but I promise you this increased level of energy that you're going to feel after exercising, it will give you the equivalent of more hours in your day you're going to feel more energized you're going to feel more proud of yourself so the changes that you're wanting to make can happen and something will happen in the new year that pushes you into that and you will you will completely transform pisces i'll leave the reading there let me know in the comment section if this resonates don't forget to like share subscribe keep your kitchen which happy by giving me a big thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon